Um, in this planning video, I'm going to talk about um, how the image techniques of images that I'm going to look at and practice using um, to convert images from that I've used on my album and use them in a different way for my poster. Um, first, I'm going to look at the process which is known as salt printing. The salt printing process was invented by William Henry Fox Talbot, um, some call him the father of modern photography, not really, in 1833. He was the first to make a silver image on paper. Um, on the first attempts, the paper was coated with silver nitrate and exposed to light, but it only gave a faint metallic silver image. He later discovered that by first applying salt to the paper and then coating it with a silver nitrate solution, he could get a much stronger image. This is basically the same as what I am going to try and use on mine. Um, the salt print process um, gives the image a much older, rustic and altogether much less digital look um, in which I was going to... Um, I want to use because obviously I'm looking at trees. Um, it also, you know, like trees and nature, and it goes with that. It also allows me to paint on parts of the image I want to expose, creating an effect that cannot be created in Photoshop. This effect um, is will be like splashes and running down of the of the um, the the salt um, chemical that I'm using, and it. Um, it splashes and runs down and it can't be recreated in Photoshop because in Photoshop everything can be recreated, it's, it's repetitive whereas this is no other like splash or line is exactly the same as this will be and I have tried redoing it, like doing it in Photoshop and it just doesn't look very good um, it is not it is not completely on the grayscale as it is there's a slightly brown tint to the image uh, which obviously goes with my thing because it is, you know, the colour of earth and nature and that kind of thing. To do this, um, I have to get my hands on 2 milligrams sodium chloride, 100 millilitres of distilled water and 12 milligrams silver nitrate and uh, another 100 milligrams of distilled water. Um, okay, the, um, the second process we're going to talk about, unlike the silver process, um, like in black and white photography is, is, is called cyanotypes and like in black and white photography cyanotypes are used in um, solution of iron compounds. Uh, the photographs can be taken with a camera like a digital camera which is why I'm doing it um, and then you can print it out on a see-through thing called um, acetate which is like plastic and you get some rough acetate and you print it out and this is the same with the salt print and then I'm going to lay it over the paper that is exposing it on and expose it, but this has to be exposed to UV light to actually show the cyanotypes and they come out blue rather than brown. Uh, the basic cyanotype recipe has been not been changed since uh, John um, Herschel introduced it in, the in 1842, however some advantages have been made um, in what is a new cyanotype process, whereas cyanotype formula has um, has less bleed, shorter exposure times, and a um, and a longer range of tones, but is also slightly more complicated, complicated to mix. Okay, on the right side, I will post examples of both other people that have used the cyanotype and the salt print process to show you what I'm talking about. On the left hand side, I will show images of me trying to use this process for practices of when I do the um, original advert. And that is about it. Oh, I will also, un um, underneath this video, post a selection of images of me actually making the um, cyanotype formula in the darkroom. 